You will probably be very sad to hear this, but this is going to be the last episode of Untie the Lines that's going to take place in Sheltered Bay. couple of things uh, to fix this week. For example, um, one of the supports for the heat exchanger for the oil of the engine had broken, so um, I had to go to Cologne and try to find something to replace it. Um, and that means usually driving around for ages and walking around town um, to look for a certain piece. In the end I found something that was at least in a similar shape and um, I could use it to, to actually rebuild the actual support um, in the workshop. So it was good, I mean, um, it, was a, it was a fun project and in the end it, uh, it fit and it's holding the, the, the heat exchanger, so that was an interesting little project. Cologne is definitely not the most beautiful uh, or s nor safest uh, city in the world, but still I think it's totally fine to, to walk there during the day um, if you stick to the roads that are more or less safe. And I actually enjoy going there for looking for parts, um, especially if you're with some friends and, and you can go somewhere for lunch and uh, it's just nice, be nice being outside of uh, the marina for a while. One more thing on the to-do list was to reseal one of the lids of my water tank because when I was um, filling them up with water, there was water coming out of the, the tap on the top. And uh, as usual, when I, when I dismounted it, uh, the whole thing just completely fell apart because it was so brittle. But I have to say there's one really good thing about Carl. There's many, many, many spare parts on it. Well, there was because I've used quite a bit of them and I have to replace them. But every time I break something I'm thinking, wait, wait, I think I've seen that somewhere in some box at some certain time and then it's just a matter of finding it. Because I haven't been using the engine for a while and uh, diesel has been sitting I wanted to make sure that um, there's not like algae in the tank before I go and fill it up again. Because remember, there have been some issues in the past. <laughs> um, so I had to unscrew all the bolts again. And it's a, really, it's a really hard job in a really bad position. But there is no way I could, I could not do it. I just wouldn't have feel, felt uh, safe. So I opened them all up um, and uh, checked the diesel. And there was really just a little bit of sediment on the bottom and I decided to just pump the little bits that were not looking so good, I just pumped them out and uh, went to fuel up Carl. Also I took a little tiny break from fixing stuff this week and um, I went to the Fort San Lorenzo which is just about I think 15 kilometers away from Shelter Bay, just at the entrance of uh, Rio Chagres where I sailed the other day. It's an old uh, Spanish fort that's built up there um, on a little hill overlooking the entrance of uh, the river. And I just went there by car with a friend um, to see the sunrise and it was really beautiful. There was no one there, the sun was rising, it was completely empty and um, it was just, just very nice to walk around the, the old ruins and, and to feel the, 
the flair of the place. And I was back for the breakfast and um, ready to break some more things. So it was a nice little, um, nice little journey. I did some final shopping um, for going to San Blas because it's going to be um, a little bit remote and it's going to be difficult to get a couple of things. So I did a, a big shopping and stored everything on Carl. And it looks as if he's ready to go. And it's going to be the moment to untie the lines. But more about that next week. Bye.